When we think of the dark web, most of us imagine menacing hooded figures in dark rooms, hunched over a keyboard with spiraling lines of numbers and letters streaming across a dimly lit computer monitor. In fact, the dark web is just like any other part of the internet, save for the fact it's anonymous and, to a point, untraceable. At its core, the dark web simply refers to pages and sites that are not indexed by search engines. They are essentially invisible to regular internet users. The phrase deep web includes any information unavailable to the public and hidden from search engines. Even pages like your email inbox and your Amazon shopping cart or your online banking information. Any page that requires a login or security check to access is, by definition, a deep web page. The section of the internet known as the dark web is also invisible to search engines, but can be accessed by anyone with the right tools. This is the realm more frequently populated by the more sinister elements of the online world. Dark web users use a Tor-enabled browser, Tor standing for the Onion Router, which is essentially a dark web browser giving them access to .onion sites. While clean websites would commonly end in .com or .ie, on the dark web, sites terminate with a .onion. Tor users have their connection randomly bounced between Tor nodes before accessing any page, making the IP address of the browser all but impossible to trace. Some people access the internet this way to preserve their personal privacy. Tor encryption keeps your location a secret and covers your browsing history, protecting your identity from hackers and cookies, as well as law enforcement, big tech, data collectors and advertising executives alike. This anonymity is a tool for people in places where freedom of speech isn't as protected as it may be in Ireland. Tor allows users behind the Great Firewall of China to access content and express opinions that the ruling regime would not agree with. However, much of the content on the dark side of the web, experts put the figure above 60%, is concerned with criminality in one form or another. Whether your desires run to buying a gun and weapons, or purchasing stolen financial information or forged documentation, you are likely to find what you want in these hidden corners of the internet. Hackers for hire and hitmen have also set up shop. Of course, this is an arena without much in the way of customer protection. The exchanges are made using Bitcoin, and the inexperienced shopper can easily fall foul of fraudsters, even in this thieves' den. And of course, purchasing your illegal items online is one thing. With modern security and customs check, you are as likely to have a member of the Gardaí banging on your door as an unwitting postman delivering your Glock.